This is Sun Young, your option trading specialist. Today I wanted to share how to just uh, set up your just a single call. So if I wanted to do a um, single call strategy on symbol five, what I would do is you have to log on to Thinkorswim. That's a platform that I'm using and uh, you go to the monitor and then you come to trade right there and then make sure that you put in your um, the symbol if you don't know what the five means is uh, you could just click here and then it'll tell you what it, it stands for five below incorporation company there okay so the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the chart and see what kind of trade that we want to do here I have one and five, 10 and 20 day movement chart here. Okay. So what I'll do is like, okay, this is the ceiling right there, the highest point on one day movement and five day ceiling is right here, 179.92. You can't see the number in the one day, but it looks like it's 179.95, pretty close to a five day movement there. Uh, 179.92 again on 10 day movement and 20 days a little bit higher. So what we want to identify is you want to identify the consistency and the movement of the uh, certain day. So I identify that and the lowest market that it has reached down is 164 right there. And on 20 days 151.01. And on um, five day is 166. So current market price is 172.58. It's written in here, but then also it's down in by the chart 172.58. So is this more close to high highest price 179.92, or is it more closer to you know lowest point of the market uh, like 167? So when you look at like 10 day movement, it's kind of in the middle. So I wouldn't do a down or up trade at this point. Some of you may, but if you look at the one day movements, like, oh man, it dropped way down here. So definitely I'm going to do an up market, but I don't do one day trade. So therefore I'll be able to check out on the five and 10 day movement. And just by looking at this, I'm not too excited about doing a um, down trade or the up trade. So. I'm not going to do that. Uh, sometimes, you know, you look at the chart and you decide, it's like, oh, I don't know. You know, if it's a good trade to do up or down trade. Now, this one, you notice how I do the color coordinations here. Um, so I don't have to like punch in like W-Y-N-N, -N, right? You just save a lot of time just by doing the color linking here. And uh, if I want to look at the different company, just go like that. It's already linked, so then it changed for me automatically. See that? Okay. There we go. This one, BIDU, -B it might be a, mm, not too bad of a chart to do, maybe down trade. The reason is because here's the highest market, 168.60, 168.80. 168.80, 168.80. So there's a consistency of 1, 5, and 10, and 20 day movement. It has hit the ceiling, and then current market price is at 164.56, which is closer to the ceiling. Highest market there, right? And the floor, which is the bottom part of the candlesticks in the chart, and 20 day movement is 139.10 right here. And I think on a 10 day is 154.22. And five day is 154.15, somewhere in there, 154.47. And then one day movement, you have to go find the lowest point of the candlestick here, right? On the floor. So 160.07. So it is kind of more closer to the upper ceiling part of the market the current market is right now right so you could probably do a down trade 
and make profit, and make money as the market is going down. Let's look at Starbucks here. So on Starbucks, um, the highest is like 97.97, almost 98. Uh, current market is 95.31. It's indicated in here and also indicated down here as well. And the uh, lowest market for 20 days, 93.02. So we identified the, the lowest market for each chart here. Okay, so 94.45. And in here again, 94.92 looks like, right there. And for 10 day movement, you hover over it's 94.39. So now highest we know is about 98 to 105. Look at your one day movement is also um, 97.92, so close to 98. So just identif identifying that pattern here um, this is more closer to lower part of the market here, which is, you know, current market here is closer to lower market. And so I would probably feel okay to do up trade, setting up an up trade and make money. So how to do a single leg. So if you cannot do a vertical for some reason, if you're not, uh, if you don't have a tier two or margin account, um, then you could just do a single leg. So I would just say, again, we're going to make money as the market goes up. Remember, because we identified at the lowest point here, okay, lowest point, and the current market is closer to lower market instead of higher right in here, okay? So if you want to do a single leg, single call, um, is you just kind of 95 so then I would say maybe um, you got to go to strike price of 85 or even 90 it's a little bit in the money but it's okay so I would just go 85 click on the ask price now we're gonna analyze this Starbucks right so we're gonna right click in this green area and analyze trade and now always want to make sure you unclick this okay and just click on the one that you're looking at so single leg single call strategy here um, doing the 10 contract and the break even is like right here on the second path, little pass to the right side of the uh, red line there see that so 9568 is the break even okay and then as you make sure that you have set up a right trade we wanted to set this up as the market is going up here right so there you go all the way up okay so looks like if market reaches to 109 dollars on this Starbucks you could make like $13,380.80. Crazy, huh? And how much hours, how many hours that you would have to work working for the corporate world? And then you could also confirm and send. Now, remember, 95.31 is current market and 95.65 is a break even and or above, you'll start making money. So this expires on the 18th of February. So all you do is just, you know, go to send. Okay, there you go. And what it happens is now it's sitting in a monitor, like a working order, right? So you go to monitor and then click on the working order and it's right in here. So this says a single, right? Call, Starbucks, 85 call. And I am opening this tray, right? So I bought it, which means like plus 10, right? The quantity or contract, however you want to call it. And I'm buying this 85 call to open my trade. So tomorrow morning, um, 
if this number, the current mark status, and this uh, price, credit price, if those two numbers match, then the trade will go through, most likely. But if these two numbers do not match, then it will not. So what I do is, uh, since I've done all my studying, instead of putting it on the uh, during the day, what happens is, if this is on the day, tomorrow, if it doesn't take it, by the time market closes at 2 o'clock, my time, this order will just disappear. So what I'll do is like, I'll just go ahead and um, right click in this area and cancel replace. And I'll make sure that this is good to cancel. This way, if somehow it does not take it, then um, I'm okay. It's going to stay there until good to cancel, until I, you know, change my limit price. And then you'll take it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So here we go. Send. Obviously, break even is 95.65. That's really important to me. Make sure it's close to the current market price. Max profit is infinite. Means like I can make, you know, some, like there's no certain a limit like certain max profit right I can make quite a bit and max loss is 10,650 so now if I was to do like a, a one contract it would be much cheaper it would be like 1065 but since I'm doing a 10 contract it's 10,650 don't forget to include your commission of six dollars and fifty cents for 10 contracts which is pretty cheap and cost of trade, this trade is 10656.50. So you have to have at least this much money to set up this trade. And on option buying power, you have to have that much. So how do I know that I have enough? Well, right here it says resulting buying power for options. After I set this trade go through, um, I would have $13,286.71 left. So, but if this number is in a parentheses, then, you know, you're in the hole and you can't set this, up, this trade up at all. So, it's just going to send and we'll see what happens. Okay? All right. Well, we'll see you on next video. Thanks for joining me. Okay.